Hello, everyone. I'm Yang Wen. I'm very glad to report our work. The topic of my report is a classification network for ocular diseases based on structure feature and visual attention. The authors are Yang Wen, Yu Ping Zhu, Kun Liu, Ben Sheng, Lei Bai, Jin Min Kim, Xiang He, and Xin Zhu. Optical Coherence Tomography OCT, is one of the most promising new tomography techniques in recent years, especially in the detection and imaging of biological issues. It is often used to view the morphology of the retinal layers and assist the doctor to diagnose eye diseases. In reality, eye diseases seriously affect the daily life of patients, and there is a lack of professional ophthalmologists and medical diagnosis resources. Even sometimes the diseases have been mistreated in many developing and poor economies, where access to the trained ophthalmologist and eye care machineries may be insufficient. So it's quite imminent to have an automated system that will help diagnose diabetic retinopathy and other related retinal diseases with high precision and speed. Figure 1 shows the retinal ocular diseases and OCT image. One of the most common imaging modalities for eye diagnosis is optical coherence tomography, OCT, with around 5.35 million OCTs performed in 2014 in the USA only. OCT is a non-invasive imaging technique which is useful to make a diagnosis of eye retina diseases. Using OCT imaging, ophthalmologists see distinctive retinal layers that allow them to measure and map these layers and provide guidance for treatment. OCT has led to a significant improvement on imaging performance and provides more accurate information about intrarinal morphology of retaining layers that can be used for disease detection and classification. Figure 2 shows some OCT image acquisition equipment. Since introducing optical coherence tomography OCT, technology for 2D eye imaging, it has become one of the most important and widely used imaging modalities for the non-invasive assessment of retinal eye diseases. Age-related macular degeneration AMD, and diabetic macular edema eye disease are the leading causes of blindness being diagnosed using October recently, by developing machine learning and deep learning techniques. The classification of eye retina diseases using OCT images has become quite a challenge. Limitations of previous related work, the existing classification data of ocular diseases is not sufficient. Due to the relatively small amount of effective information from OCT image data, the existing algorithms are not good enough to determine the lesions with similar structures. The accuracy of the existing computer-aided eye disease classification methods cannot meet the actual needs, due to the particularity of the lesion area and OCT images. Figure 3 summarizes the recent works on CAT systems in Retinal October These work fully demonstrates that the methods based on machine learning and deep learning can effectively improve the performance of computer-aided diagnosis technology, but there are still some problems to be solved, such as the limited types of disease diagnosis, the classification accuracy needs to be further improved, the auxiliary diagnosis function is not perfect, and so on. Figure 4 shows the OCT image classification flowchart based on convolutional neural network. Firstly, eye images are collected by OCT equipment, and then the OCT images are input into the convolutional neural network to learn the classification model, and finally the accurate classification of different eye diseases is realized. We introduce the constructed data set for classification of ocular diseases. Different from the existing data sets, we generate five kinds of ocular diseases, including age-related macular degeneration AMD, diabetic macular edema DME, normal NM, polypoidal choroidal vasculopathy PCV, and pathologic myopia PM. We train and tested with the OCT data set of five different disease types provided by doctors. The entire OCT dataset contains approximately 9,500 OCT images, including 100 patients for each category and 19th of October images for each patient. For each eye disease, 
we randomly selected all the images from 80 patients as the training set, and all the images from the remaining 20 patients as the test set. We use a unified procedure to pre-process the original OCT data and transform the original OCT images into new images of uniform size and form. Considering that the original OCT data contains different levels of noise and varies in size, the pre-processing algorithm we use needs to be as efficient and robust as possible. Figure 5 shows the example B scans from AMD, DME, NM, PCV and PM5 ocular diseases subjects in our OCT dataset. We can see that although the OCT images of different eye diseases have certain differences, the lesion area is relatively small and the images are seriously polluted by noise. We summarize the main contributions. We propose a novel automatic classification system for OCT ocular diseases. The experimental results show that our classification method can maintain a higher classification accuracy for different ocular diseases. We introduce to use OCT data pre-processing to eliminate retinal noise and capture the target region containing the lesions. It fully verifies the important role of data pre-processing and disease classification on OCT images. We use the visual attention model to help the network capture more feature information of the lesion area and further improve the classification accuracy of the network. Figure 6 is the flowchart of OCT data preprocessing. In the image preprocessing stage, we firstly binarize the original OCT image and median filter the binarized image to remove the black dots detached from the retina. Then, we keep only the maximum connected domain in the image, in order to eliminate small areas of noise and avoid interference with the preprocessing results. After that, we successively perform morphological open operations to eliminate the small bright spots in the OCT images and the white spots that existed alone in the retina. The morphological closed operation is also used to eliminate the possible holes in the OCT images and to eliminate as many black dots as possible in the images. In addition, for the obtained binary images, we find the midpoint of each bright line segment and fit all the obtained midpoints with a quadratic function. Finally, we translate each column of the original image and the binary image vertically, so that this quadratic curve becomes horizontal in the new image, which corrects the curvature of the retina itself. After a series of data pre-processing operations, we can reduce the unpleasant noise in the OCT data and extract more effective information about the focal area for improving the accuracy of the subsequent classification tasks. Figure 7 is the example B scans from AMD, DME, NM, PCV and PM5 ocular diseases subjects in our OCT dataset after pre-processing. It can be seen from the figure that the data preprocessing removes the interference noise and corrects the curvature of the retina itself, which is helpful to improve the accuracy of subsequent classification tasks. Figure 8 is the proposed OCT classification network based on structure features and the attention module for ocular diseases. With the rapid development of deep learning technology, the convolutional neural network has shown unparalleled effects in high-level semantic analysis tasks, such as image classification and segmentation. In this paper, we implement the OCT classification task for different eye diseases based on the classical convolutional neural network inception. As shown in Figure 8, the input of the network consists of two parts, structural prior features DAISY and OCT image features. The inception layer consists of convolutional layers of sizes 3, 5 and 7. A pooling layer of size 3 and an in layer for simplifying the network parameters. In this way, the network acquires feature information at different scales while increasing the perception field. Besides, we also use the attention module which includes spatial and channel attention to enhance the ability of the network to extract important features. Then, we will present the results of our experiment. To verify the accuracy of our method for automatic detection of 5 eye diseases, 
We perform all the training and testing under the same experimental environment and data conditions. In the experiment, the learning rate is 0.0001 and the batch size is set to 16. All the OCT images are first pre-processed by our image pre-processing method. Table 1 shows the classification accuracy of multiple classical methods for the different ocular diseases. The results in the Table 1 show that other algorithms generally have poor performance in judging PCV and AMD, which is mainly due to the similar structures of PCV and AMD lesions. However, our method can better improve the feature expression ability and lesion discriminant ability of the network with the help of additional structural prior features and visual attention mechanisms. Table 2 shows the effects of different learning rates on the overall classification performance of ocular diseases, ResNet18 as an example. As can be seen from the indicators in the table. The classification performance is the best when the learning rate is 0.0001. Table 3 shows the effects of different bitch size on the overall classification performance of ocular diseases, ResNet18 as an example. As can be seen from the indicators in the table, the larger the batch size, the better the classification performance. Finally, we conclude our work. We propose an OCT classification network based on structural features and visual attention for ocular diseases. In this paper, we propose an OCT classification network based on structure features and visual attention for ocular diseases. Our proposed OCT classification model captures structural features DAISY by machine learning approach to provide additional prior knowledge. Meanwhile, the visual attention module is used to enhance the feature representation capability of the network and to strengthen the extraction of effective classification features. Vast experiments have shown that our method can achieve accurate classification for different ocular diseases, especially for the indistinguishable PCV and AMD diseases, which show particularly superior performance. In the future, we will be committed to further improve the classification and location of special eye disease lesions, and provide more advanced technical support for the actual clinical needs of doctors. Thank you for your attention.